<laughs> Hi, I'm Marcel Jackson, a mathematician at Latrobe University. We're looking at Boolean algebra here. It's a two-valued logic, and I'd like to talk about really how it works inside here. And I don't mean plus and times in terms of the buttons you see here. I mean what happens inside here and underneath this little black dot here. Because actually that's the kind of thing that happens at the finer level. So the multiplication here is actually fairly familiar. It looks about right. It's the addition that's a bit strange. And even then it's not too strange. It's only the 1 plus 1 equal to 1. We might call this a two-value logic. We think of 0 as being a false or an off, 1 as being a true or an on. Um, and this maybe is like an and and an or. So inside the calculator, when we want to actually do a real addition, such as 1 plus 1 equal to 2, well, the calculator is really working in binary. So everything has to be written in, in binary. So that means that, well, there's no problem with 1 and 1 there. We can think of that uh, as being in binary. But in binary, when we count, it's like counting in decimal, but there's no 2s, 3s, 4s, up to 9s. There's no symbols for them. So when you count, you just go to the next symbol with a combination of symbols that you can think of. So um, a typical byte is um, 8 bits. So there's 8 bits. They could be ons or offs, uh, like this. So the number 1 might be uh, written in that way. Uh, the number 2, well, the next thing after that that we could write would be a 1, 0, which for you looks like this. I'm doing it back to front for me. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Very difficult, uh, almost as difficult as this. Uh, okay, so that's the way we're, that's, that's what's happening inside the calculator. So when we add 1 plus 1, we shouldn't be getting the number 2 um, as, a di as a symbol. We get this thing over here. So we have um, an output and a carry over to the next row. This is very similar to when we add in decimal. We often get carries. This is the carry here. What I've drawn over here is a little bit of circuitry that corresponds exactly to this thing um, that we have over there. So these are the multiplications. This is an addition, a multiplication. That's a negation. And if you put two ones in here and follow through, so the one comes down here, it branches there, so it goes through here and will become a zero. Um, it will be zero times something. Zero times anything is zero, so what comes out of here is a zero, and so on. And what we should get, and it won't be too hard to check, that you'll get a zero coming through here too. Zero plus zero, zero. But when we go through here, we go across, down, 1 times 1 is 1. Then we get the correct bit of information. Now, of course, in a calculator, it has to then turn this information back into a 2. Does it actually turn it into this? I don't think it does. What actually happens on the calculator is another subtlety that you may not have actually thought about, and that is, is that the number 2 is really this. So there's really a whole lot of different answers that correspond to representing this 1, 0 thing. You have a little on-off switch here, another one there, another one here, another one there. And the number of two, if you like, is really this particular combination of on offs and ons. Each of them is going to require a bit of circuitry in there. Um, and it's all done using Boolean algebra. The power of Boolean algebra is, is that anything that you really want to be able to do, you can actually write in terms of these unusual operations. And that's really why... Boolean algebra, which is a kind of a non-high school type of algebra. It's quite elementary, but a little bit unfamiliar. It's why it's so important. You can do anything. You can turn these on and off however you want. Bear in mind that the way we write number two is effectively arbitrary. It's basically a drawing. So the way this thing gets turned on and off is not mathematical. It's just how we chose to draw our numbers. 